Hello and welcome. This is Paul Carr, and this is the first in a series of videos called The Field Investigator's Backpack. Now, this series will examine individual bits of gear we might take into the field with us on an investigation. This isn't just about geeking out on gear, although we will do that. It's mainly that each piece of gear serves as a mental lens to illustrate one point or one part of what we take into the field with us, why we take into the field, and what we hope to accomplish with it. And then we may very well find that, in fact, this is a piece of gear we don't need for that particular mission that we have. It's all about getting you thinking. So, what do you think is the most important single piece of equipment you can take into the field? Pause right now, come up with your answer, and then resume. The most important piece of equipment you take into the field with you is your brain. Your brain, the clothes on your back, you've got at least 80% of what you need going into the field. Be aware. Think. Never just follow procedure. Every procedure is going to have to be adapted to the witness, to the mission, and to other factors. I call these factors the, the MAUTI. That's a terrible acronym. I'll come up with a better one someday. Mission, obstacles, weather, and terrain. Consider all those things, especially mission. Why are you there? What are you hoping to accomplish? And that will lead you into coming up with a plan. In the next video, we'll talk about the plan. And you'll use your brain on that too. Now, the plan of course, will change. It's not sufficient just to have a plan and follow it to the letter. You're going to have to think all the time. But a plan is necessary. If you go into the field without a plan, you're going to wish you had one. And we'll talk about why that is in the next video. In subsequent videos, we will actually examine individual bits of hardware and software that will help you in the field. Sometimes you don't need it. Sometimes you do. Sometimes it's kind of optional. But it, at least for each of these pieces, it gets you thinking about what kinds of things you might encounter in the field, what kinds of evidence you might want to collect. And that's important. So we'll be talking about everything from waterproof notebooks to GPS tracking point of view cameras to multi-tools to mirrorless cameras, which are my favorite type of, of camera to carry anywhere outside of a house. Um, we'll talk about magnifiers, what kind of magnifier you need to take into the field. We'll talk about flash memory. Um, we'll talk about audio recorders. I'm using one right now that I would take into the field. And microphones. I'm speaking to you through my Rode microphone that, it, that I would also take into the field in some cases, other cases I wouldn't. Um, we'll talk about everybody's favorite topics. Flashlights. We'll talk about smartphones, especially waterproof smartphones with a large battery life. Very useful. We'll talk about gaff tape. Well, that's a big wall. I take a smaller one. Uh, we'll talk about no, probably not geology hammers, but lots of other things like that. Everything from telephoto lenses to to tape measures. All that will be in the series, and I hope that you'll enjoy the fun part of it, which will be 
looking at gear and talking about its pros and cons. And, and also, I hope that it will help you prepare for when you have to go on site. And that's what it's is all about. Um, so this would be a long series of videos because there's a lot of things to talk about. It should be fun. Most of these videos will be quite short, three or four minutes probably. Uh, this is not mandatory training, but I do recommend that you follow the series and catch up to it as, as soon as you can. And we hope to see you out in the field. And I'll we'll see you next time. And the next topic, as I just mentioned, will be the site